Good morning. On this rather overcast Easter morning. I don't know if you can see it, but the Easter Bunny's out. You know, it's kind of funny though, they're not leaving Easter eggs, but they are leaving something. <laughs> they don't taste like Easter eggs. <laughs> not that I've tried it. Uh, wow, we are going to have a bit of a sunrise. I, I just said it was overcast, at least I think I did. Uh, but we, we're getting something going on over there. And uh, yeah, I came back to the model table yesterday. And I uh, did get our little boats painted. I actually got two coats on here. Uh, yeah this Easter morning that is fraught with unhappiness. And what do you mean unhappiness? Well, there's a lot of unhappiness about my choice of color here. <laughs> I tell you, I'm not too happy myself. I've been thinking about maybe repainting it, but you know what? I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm just going to leave it because I think that the contrast between the 56 and the uh, 66 is gonna, you know, when we when you stand back at arm's length, <laughs> I think it's gonna be okay. Um, I'll I'll do better on the Iowa, I promise. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, roll back here and see how we got to this place. No, I would not have been laughing and kidding around there and been so happy if I had have known that I was going to be losing the sound on a bunch of my video here today. So, yeah, I took a bunch of video and I got messing around with the new program and trying different things and I didn't realize I'd lost my sound and couldn't get it back and I didn't want to have to drag the files into the program and, and uh, redo everything. I just don't have the time nor the energy. So, yeah... Well, at least we got something here. So uh, you're going to miss the middle of today's video. It's happening right now and goes on for another few minutes. But I'm going to be removing it and we're going to, uh, as they say, cut to the chase. The first coat is on here. And I'm just going to wait for it to dry. I think I'm going to maybe leave it overnight. Um, well, we'll see how it goes. I might put the second coat on late this evening already. And, uh, yeah, I, I know that, like, right now it, it looks like it's dry, but I think that there's also something to do with curing, and this paint does, to a certain extent, cure, so that it doesn't re, uh, uh, re-dissolve when you put the second coat on. Uh, now, that's just my uneducated opinion, and I could be wrong. Um, I know a lot of modelers have suggested leaving leaving it overnight. Um, well, there's got to be a reason for that. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Well, as you could see, from the snapshots, I kind of rushed the curing a bit, didn't I? Well, I wanted to get the second coat on this evening. And it's on. Just finished. It's, uh, on, on the last one I did, I can't remember which one it was. It's probably still a little bit wet. Um, uh, anyway, the next thing we want to do is I'm going to take my little brush here. If I can pick it up. And I'm probably going to use the 77 to go around the inside of this engine well here. At least that's the plan. But that's going to have to be in the morning. So, all being well, we'll be seeing you in the morning. Well, it is morning. And as you're going to see from the snapshots that I'm going to insert here in a few seconds, I've uh, got the camera coming in from my right instead of uh, from my left. Uh, 
and uh, I don't think I've ever done it quite like this before unless maybe way back when we did the Bismarck now this is the number 77 and we are just going to try and just paint the inside here just try and bring it up to the edge Try not to have to do too much more painting of the. Uh, oh! Well, that's the end of that. Maybe I should use a smaller brush. Maybe I shouldn't be using paint that is so thinned out as well. I just want to darken this because I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be a, a, a light color. Probably have to give this two coats. I can use my little brush on the next one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to touch up this, the the uh, the deck tan on the seats. Uh, Maybe I should switch brushes right now. You know what? I'm going to do that. Okay, as I've said before, I'm sure glad I can... Uh, Edit out the dead spots. I mentioned that I was uh, switching programs from Adobe Premiere Pro to the DaVinci Resolve, and uh, so what I'm doing with DaVinci is I'm basically learning it. And uh, one one of the things that I'm learning is what it can't do, or or what not to do in it. Let's put it that way. I made a bit of a mistake earlier this morning when I was doing some editing, and it probably set me back about two hours because I had to, uh, you know, for, for painting a large area like this. Now, I know this isn't large, this is only about uh, a centimeter square, but this little brush isn't all that great for that. All right, now have I got this? How about right in there by the, by the muffler there? So anyway, I'm not being able to, uh, to do as much, uh, videoing this morning as I as I had planned because so I'm finding that if I can get the uh, up, up my video uploaded onto YouTube early it, it, uh, YouTube will uh, I can't talk and work at the same time YouTube will uh, will render it out or process it in, in high definition okay now just bring it up just a little bit here. Just in that corner. And just in the other corner. Okay. Anyway, I, I think that's it for today's episode, folks. So I'm going to be touching this uh, boo boo up with the deck then later. Anyway, thanks for watching. And all being well. We'll be seeing you tomorrow.